an unusual recovery on Percy Priest Lake less than an hour ago, crews pulled a sunken amphibious car out of the water. News Channel 5's Jesse Knudsen was there as it rose from beneath the deep. Well, after about four hours, they were able to get this hobby car right here, amphibious car out of Percy Priest Lake. The folks at Shotwell Scuba were able to do it. It was just sitting on its back with the hood straight up in the water. They're able to find it, bring it to shore, and it looks like it's in pretty good shape. And we actually have one of the folks who was in this amphibious car when it came down. Kevin, you're sitting right here in this seat. Just kind of tell me, t tell me what happened. Um, everything was going great. We launched, we went out probably a quarter of a mile and about two minutes into the ride, water started coming uh, out of the engine bay and we dipped low enough to get swamped. And once that happened, the thing went straight down like that. We were probably 10 or 15 seconds for it to sink. And that was not good specifically for your wife. Tell me why. Uh, she's my girlfriend and she cannot swim. And it took a lot of convincing just to get her to come on this trip. So uh, none of us were wearing our life, life jackets. Um, so that's the thing I'm taking out of this is wear your life jackets. Yeah, but it seems like the folks with Lane Motor Museum really handled it well. They were, they were, they made sure we were safe. Jeff Lane was actually driving the thing when it went down. Rex was driving the other car that circled around to save us. So it was a team effort. The people on the shore launched a pontoon boat. It was like everybody, uh, but we felt safe. It was glad to be alive. Absolutely. <laughs> glad that you are alive. So guys, they're going to take this back to Lane Motor Museum. They're going to try to figure out what went wrong with it and then fix it up and hopefully bring it out here for another trip pretty soon where hopefully the same thing doesn't happen. But again, it happened over the weekend. They were able to find it today using sonar and then fish out Percy Priest Lake. And now it's back to the museum to figure out what to do with it next. But we will continue to bring you updates as we get it. But for now, we are out at Percy Priest Lake. Jesse Knutson, News Channel 5.